Is that a quarter? What? Sure. Wait, what is this? Yeah, what, what is it a picture of? These are arms and legs of little children that have ripped off their bodies. Oh, yeah, now I can see it. And just, and just covered in blood. You're pro-life. Well, I'm anti-abortion. I'm an abolitionist. I'm, I'm, I'm working to abolish abortion. Are you, do you work for a company or not? No, I'm, I'm just a, I'm a Christian who's trying to to establish justice in this nation to, to end the greatest evil in our culture. That was definitely the I respect you. You said about your views, man. I like that. Well, I'm pro-life as well. Are both of you Christians? I am Christian. I went to Catholic school for a while. So. You did? How about you? I'm pro-choice. Why are you pro-choice? It's not my body. I did it. So why? So, but why are you pro-choice though? Because if God really wanted that baby to be alive, then he would he would implement his will and his way into that person's head and say, hey, we're not doing this. You're not going to do this. So well, God, God I, I does think everything. God can do it. It's his decision. So, so if he really wanted the baby to go, he wanted to be alive, then he would. There's tragic deaths of every day of little kids getting bombed in other countries. Like it happens. But well, so that does, that doesn't mean that we should support it though. I mean, right? we don't have to support it. Well, you are, right? But this isn't their body. This is the child's body. Whose body is it inside the It's inside the mother's body, but it's not her body. It's, a, it's, an, it's another distinct human being. Just like, just like when you're when you're in your mother's body, you weren't you weren't your mother. You were you, right? You were her son. Well, you don't need a recollection. It, it's it's basically we, we all begin our life in the womb of our mother. Yeah. That doesn't mean that. I'm not denying. That doesn't. Well, we're a distinct human being, two people. Um, it was uh, it was um, you, you, myself, in our mother's womb, and and our mother. Now, it wasn't just one person. It wasn't just our mother. It was our mother and, and us. <laughs> So you're saying that it should be her choice because the child can't survive outside the womb? Why? If we really are against abortions, we should cut out the babies inside the stomachs and say, if it lives, it lives, and if it dies, it dies. Well, no, that's because God designed it for us to live the first eight or nine months in our, in our mother's body, that that's the way God designed it. So why should we go against God's design? Because we're not even a fully developed human yet in the first eight or nine months. We're still fully developing. Well, fully, we're not even fully developed when we come out of our mother's womb. Yeah, you're right. So, so should we be murdered then? Well, so, so you, you, you made the point you made there. We're not fully developed outside the womb. So, should we be murdered then? Outside the womb. We're able to, we're able to breathe and live slightly on our, with our own help and a little bit of our mother's aid. So, yeah, we still need aid. We're still not, we're still not viable. Because if if our mother and the doctors, the nurses. Leave us right there. We're gonna die. So, sh so sh should it be okay to murder us, based on that argument in the womb? Because we're we're still not viable. I mean, uh, I was just coming over this chat. Uh, well, the God God's word says you shall not murder. It doesn't include any exceptions. As well. It's a dermoid.